Evil Darren invites rich man Nick Alter over for a game of chess. Nick Alter thinks he has made a new friend. When Nick Alto is not paying attention, Darren locks him in the upstairs closet. He laughs and laughs. With nowhere to go, trapped in a prison, Nick Alto has nothing to do but sit and play chess. With no toilet, he has to use the floor. He begins to get gross and disgusting. He pulls out his phone and tries to call for help, but Dad and Evil Dad and has one of those cell phone blocker thingy me jiggers. Dad and takes a delightful nap. He is so excited, knowing Nick has nowhere to sleep but the floor. Ha ha ha! The next morning, Nick wakes up. The floor has gotten sticky and gross. He is still exhausted from a night of nowhere to sleep. Nick misses his family, especially his young teenage daughter, Holly. Darren decides to torment him by putting a birthday cake in the corner. He also puts in little dwarfs for each of the days Nick has been trapped in the room. Nick refuses to eat the cake, not knowing what evil lurks inside the cake. <laughs> Darren comes in to insult Nick. He is disgusted by the surroundings that Nick is living in. He says, Nick, I saw your mother and she looks like a llama. You're living in filth, you disgust me. Nick cannot take it anymore. He tackles Darren in an attempt to escape. They struggle and Nick wins the fight. Nick attempts to make his escape. He breaks for the door, but he collapses from exhaustion just when he thought he was out. Darren sticks spoiled waffles in the corner as a way to torment Nick even more. Nick doesn't even try the spoiled waffles. Again, he doesn't trust that Darren hasn't poisoned his food. He has been watching from the window as Darren kills people before his eyes outside in his pool. Darren, determined to beat up Nick one last time before Nick croaks, works out, and gets strong. He will not be embarrassed again. It is time for the rematch. Nick. Prepare to meet Darren's evil wrath. You wanna fight, old man? You've been in here for three days. You can't have much fight left in you. Come on! They struggle. But poor Nick is exhausted from no food and no sleep. That's right, Nick. Darren gets a lot of joy out of beating up a sick old man. And he makes fun of Nick's fear of water. It's too bad, Nick says, or else you could have drowned in my pool as well. Darren is delighted by the torment he has inflicted on Nick. He sticks a toilet and his broken television in the room, hoping that Nick will electrocute himself trying to watch the television set. Come on, toilet. Break! Nick is saved this time around. He has now been in this room for at least four days. He cannot get out and he is starting to get very, very hungry. Not being able to stand the smell, Darren gives Nick a sink so he can clean himself up a bit. Nick is completely disgraced and exhausted. He cleans himself up in preparation for his death. There is nothing left to do. He is so hungry, he just paces the room back and forth, the stinky room, and he waits for his death. There he is pacing. Finally, merciful death comes. 
Nick will soon be a ghost. Darren was outside. <laughs> he quickly runs back in to meet his friend the Reaper and see his third ghost. I can't get in, he says. He'll say it. Come on, Darren. There. He can't get in. Dun dun da. <laughs> Darren lets out a chuckle. He is so delighted. He loves to see death in his house. Goodbye, rich man Nick Alto. It was fun watching you die. Darren is fascinated by death. He loves to see it. And now, with rich man Nick Alto out of the way, Darren can do what he has always wanted. He can now date Nick's youngest daughter, Holly, the teenager. Ha 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 ha! Nice to meet you, Holly! <laughs>